Hey everyone and welcome to Screams After Midnight. I am Peter, that is Tim. Merry Christmas, or close to, because we are doing Christmas movies. 2017, it's Christmas season again, Tim. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Would you call my mother? Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so what are we doing for Christmas this year? Well, the, well obviously we have three, three Christmas movies planned, this is the first of them, and this is going to be Jack Frost uh, from 1997. It is a, is a, a, a snowman killer movie. Or a killer snowman movie was a better way of saying that. I don't know why I said it my way. I, I think I'm tired. I think I'm talking complete nonsense. <laughs> but it's a killer snowman movie. That's what the movie's about. Named Jack Frost. And that's just... That's the thing. That's not the name he gets once people discover there's a killer snowman. No, no. Yep. That's just the character's <laughs> name before he becomes a snowman. Yeah. Because of course it is. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a very comic booky way of naming people. It, it, it kind of is. But anyway, so so we will start spoiler free. We'll give you a warning before we go into spoilers somewhere in the middle, and that's what we're going to do. So yeah, I, I actually wanted to do this last year, and uh, it was just hard to find. So we, we we left it off the table for a year. We came back this year, and I'm like, no, Tim, this year we're doing Jack Frost. <laughs> it's happening. Uh, so here we are, Jack Frost. So yeah, so there's a, a serial killer who's been sent to be executed. Uh, close to Christmas, everything's snowy, and he ends up in an accident with a experimental genetic chemical thing, and Makes sense. fuses with snow, becomes snow. <laughs> Basically, it becomes like a snow version of the T one thousand. You you're saying it like it doesn't make complete sense. And it does make complete sense because of course it does. Tim. <laughs> uh, so he becomes becomes snow. And he get he gets obviously a scarf and a carrot and a couple of stones later to make him give him the full snowman look, but he starts killing people. But he's specifically going to this small town uh, over the Christmas season because the sheriff who caught him lives there, and he wants to make that sheriff pay. So he's going to work his way through the town to get to the sheriff, and that's the plot of the movie. Of course, the sheriff and people start noticing people die. I'm not sure who's doing it at first, and then eventually it becomes clear that there's a snowman <laughs> involved. <laughs> Uh, the the only notable person in the movie, honestly, is Sharon Elizabeth, uh, and she's not even that notable. But you know, I'd heard of her. Yeah. She she's obviously more known for the the first couple of American Pie movies, but she uh, she's in this. She's like the teen daughter of the uh, one of the one of the older characters, not the sheriff. It's like the another person the sheriff's age. Yeah, the sheriff himself has a really annoying son who likes to try and make food <laughs> and does it really badly. Uh, so that's and that's an important plot point it comes into play later in the movie we'll talk about that in spoilers <laughs> but uh, so I'll ask the question Tim yeah did you enjoy Jack Frost uh, yeah I, I, I guess I did uh, it's I mean obviously you know I, I think most people can tell from the box art or, or if you watch the trailer or whatever this is not a, a good movie uh, but it is that, you know, super cheesy, low budget uh, kind of thing that, you know, it's actually kind of funny and entertaining in its own schlocky way. Um, so, lots of, sh yeah. lots of schlock. <laughs> Definitely a lot of schlock. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah the acting's pretty poor to downright terrible a lot of the time. I mean, it's not like, it's not the room bad or anything like that, but it's, it's definitely, yeah. you know lots of lines that just feel tacked on and don't make a lot of sense and deliveries that aren't that great uh yeah it's full of weird ideas lots of weird moments i can't i can't deny though they, they go full nuts with the uh the snowman gimmick because they do a lot of different things with with what what, what jack frost can do I, I I like that they didn't really hold back. Like it's super silly, and they it feels like that they knew that, and they weren't trying to make something super serious or deep or give a lot of like reasoning or anything. They're like, listen, like we have this dumb premise. Uh, let's just do it and you know have some fun with it. Yeah, I think that movie that came out recently with Michael Fassbender called The Snowman. Yeah, <laughs> like I never saw it. Because it, I didn't like the look of it, even though it had a director that I thought was good and all these other things, and I like Michael Fassbender, it just looked so dreary. And I'm like, like I know it's not about a killer snowman, literally, it's, just a, it's a serial killer who's <laughs> got the name The Snowman, but, you know, I feel like... 
I'm kind of dying to see that because I heard it's pretty awful. And uh, like I, I thought it would be kind of a middle of the road movie. But once I heard that, oh, no, this is like really bad. I'm like, oh, I actually kind of want to see it now. You want to see the train wreck. No, I get yeah. that. I get that. <laughs> uh, so You could have saved them, Mr. Policeman. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it just is silly. It has fun. Uh, there's a very inventive death at a few places. Uh, do you know what's funny, actually? I feel like something I said about The Thing, which is the last movie we did, <laughs> is something that I'd also say about this one. It starts off kind of like a, a slasher movie. It's a slasher movie with a snowman. Okay. And then by the last like third, it's more of a monster movie because it, like once the town all know about him and they're all working together to try and like figure out a way to kill him, it's yeah, more of a it's I more of a monster that. movie. Yeah, like it's kind of funny how it shifts genres like that. Well, not genres, but sub genres. <laughs> it shifts sub genres. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that somewhere in the middle. Um, so. Yeah, if uh, I I kind of wish that like I mean obviously it's like a you know cheap low budget movie and stuff. Uh, I do kind of wish that the snowman looked a little better. Uh, I, I think maybe just his arms kind of threw me off because they basically just look like a dude wearing kind of like white, like a long white, uh, like oven mitt, which I was like, ah, I, I don't know. I kind of wish that he had like sticks or something like a snowman. Okay, I see. I see. I, I think this was just easier to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. They don't really have the. Yeah, the capabilities for that, yeah. which is fair. But no, it's, they, they, they do get fancier with it towards the end when you see them more, and they do more goofy True, things. Yeah. Also, it's worth mentioning the the snowman himself has a very uh, kind of Chucky with a maybe a touch of Freddy Krueger oh. kind of voice, where he's constantly oh, he, cracking jokes and he's yeah, he's got jokes for sure. <laughs> yeah, he he's reveling and he's uh, and <laughs> his life, he, he likes killing yeah. people. <laughs> but that said, he's like that before he dies. But the the, the, the few scenes you get him at the start when he's like he's normal, uh, as I say normal loosely, might I add. Yeah. Uh, like even then, he's like those moments where he looks at the camera and like says like a goofy one liner and like stuff like that. So I absolutely love those scenes. Uh, they're so bad and really they don't make any sense. <laughs> but, oh, they don't. They, they're kind they of great. <laughs> No, he, even like when he's about to get doused with the uh, the chemical that's going to do this to him, he actually takes a moment to pause and say, "This is going to hurt." Instead of moving <laughs> out the way, he pauses and gives like a little comic book quip before it happens. He's like, he's like a loony dude or something. <laughs> he kind of is. Kind I love is. Uh, when the the car, uh, like yeah, prison transport is about to hit. Um, you know the chemical truck or whatever and then the two people that are up top driving they, they each go like one goes oh no and then the other goes oh no and that just cuts him in the back and he goes oh yeah it's <laughs> like how, how do you even know what's happening <laughs> because the script <laughs> true <laughs> that, that, that's why no and you're introduced to your, your small town you get your sheriff you got the what, couple of families uh and yeah, just uh, you get the store owner who like has a lot of supplies, who seems to be selling everything at twenty percent off. Every time he brings up that he's got stuff for sale, he's like, oh, it's twenty percent off. I'm like, are you just always twenty percent off? Is, is that what happened yeah. to your store? Like, what's going on? <laughs> but so you get set the characters up, uh, and they're, they're varying quality. Most of them are just kind of like they're not quite good enough to actually think they're good B movie characters, but they're varied enough that they're kind of at least entertaining. Yeah. I yeah. agree with that. So that, that's kind of that. So I, I think I'll give the spoiler warning because I think I want to talk okay. about plot. I want to talk about kills. I want to talk about insanity. So let's talk about Jack Frost and spoilers. So, yeah. do we, right. do, like, do you want to start like at the very, very, oh, the very opening beginning? titles? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like what the, like I, I actually, uh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, I, I forget. Did you say you saw this before or, or you had wanted to see it? Um, I I I have seen it before, but it was like fifteen years ago, and I remembered okay. I remembered like next to not the only thing I remember was the bath scene. That is the only real thing okay. that I, could, I told yeah. you before you before we watched it. Yeah, because I'd seen like bits and pieces from it, but I never saw it all the way through. So when it opens up with this like crazy beginning, with this like 
psycho like, like it's just like showing like a christmas tree and stuff but there's like this psycho that is telling uh the story to i guess his daughter or granddaughter or something for some but reason i like thought a... it was his niece i don't know i, I don't know if there was oh, like maybe. A, i don't know if it was a line that specifically implied it was his niece but yeah you hear this guy just like it's like she's like i want a, a, a scary story a proper scary story a, a scary christmas story and he's like well there's a serial killer named Jack Frost, yeah. <laughs> and he was killing and like, people. <laughs> and it, it's it's just so bizarre because like the the kid's voice is such like a over the top like character of a kid's. Oh voice. yeah, it, it's clearly a woman who's at least thirty, like doing like a yeah. a little girl's voice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But then like the guy that's telling the story, uh, it, it kind of sounds like he's also going to murder the little girl like after he's done telling it. No, I, <laughs> it, it's just such a weird way to start I, off the movie, especially since it really has nothing to do. Yeah, like who are these people? The it's, it's basically this movie's version of like the the montage at the start that gives you the backstory because it, it's explaining yeah. how he was caught, how he used to put bits of the people he was killing in the in the pies where he worked, oh right, right. that bakery or whatever it was, and how that's that's what led back to him. And that's how he got caught and all the rest of it. Uh, and I'm like, okay, so I get what the purpose of it is. It's just a really weird... It's out of tone with the rest of the movie. Yeah, it's really... I mean, even for a movie called Jack Frost about a killer snowman, this opening was still super jarring. But yeah, so, so we get to... Uh, poor <laughs> Sharon Elizabeth, like, her entire family get murdered, including her. It's almost oh, comical yeah. <laughs> by the time she dies, because I'm like, this entire family were just cadden fodder. Uh which, by the way, her little brother dies first. Uh, no, no, he's not the first death in the movie, but he's the first one of their family to die uh, via sled. Oh my god, I almost forgot, <laughs> forgot about this death scene. This is fantastic. Yeah, so so, so we've been introduced to the sheriff's kid, and th this other kid who's a bit older like, bullies him. He's like making fun of him for building a snowman. He didn't even build a snowman. This is the like, evil snow Jack Frost. He, he just adds the carrot and the, the stones for the, the yeah. buttons and stuff. And... We, we see that the kid likes to try and make his dad food for lunch and it's like this awful stuff that his dad's <laughs> never going to touch because of course he doesn't. Uh, but he goes out to deal with a snowman and the, the older kids are kind of bullying him. He's like, oh, go away. And Jack Frost decides to decapitate him with with his sled. <laughs> it's really over the top and the head like goes flying. Well, like, all, all it is is that he pushes this kid so he falls down right as a sled is going yeah. downhill at, oh, I don't know, four miles an hour. Maybe. <laughs> and then it cuts to a shot of his head flying through the air. <laughs> as yep. if it like, just got hit by like a truck going 60 miles that, That's hour. it, though. <laughs> that's not even my favorite part. My favorite part is it cuts to like, the police are all there, right? And one yeah. of the deputies, there's like all this blood in the snow. And he like he shovels like one bit of snow and throws it over where the blood is to to, yeah. to cover it, and he doesn't do any more. He just leaves it at that, so you can still see all the blood. There's just a little bit of white in the middle now, <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, that helped. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, nothing like uh, trying to get rid of evidence. Like he he can't even be good at being crappy at his job. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so, so here's the thing. Now, admittedly, her parents don't die until after she's left the house, so she doesn't know they're dead. But she does go and try and find her boyfriend so they can have sex, like, after her little brother's died. Yeah. Because, of course, she does. That's what 18 year olds do, apparently. You know, your brother's just died. Oh, you know what? I think I'll, uh, I think I'll go have sex. So, basically, her, her parents are assholes, and the, the dad. Uh, gets an axe shoved down his throat outside he goes outside to smoke and then like he, he, jack frost like says something to him and he's like wait he thinks he's going crazy he can't see anyone so he's, he's looking around he's like where, where is this person who's speaking to me and then he shoves an axe down his throat handle first so the axe head is like sticking out of his mouth which is kind of yeah. funny it's a, it's a visual i'm um, good for that it's yeah i mean it's interesting but at the same time you know it's like uh maybe stick with this the snowman gimmick like I don't think we'd seen well, enough kills up until that point. Well, I don't think you have to stick with the snowman gimmick per se. I just think you have to stick with the Christmas gimmick, which is why I like his wife's death. Oh, uh, she's the one that gets strangled with the 
Well, she gets strangled, um, I, but I like the part before that where he just keeps smashing her head into all the uh, the the Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, right, and right, the, right, yeah. And the baubles and stuff. And every time her head comes back up, she's got like bits of bobble like sticking out of her face, like all these yeah. like shards. I like that. Yeah, that death. is. I, yeah, that is actually surprisingly brutal yeah. for like a movie that doesn't show uh, a a ton. I feel like you know a lot of stuff it'll it'll cut to or whatever mm. doesn't have actually that much gore. That that is actually a surprisingly gory bloody scene yeah then she gets strangled with the christmas lights and then she's hung in the tree for uh people to yeah. find because <laughs> because because the store owner fight finds her and then, he, then later on he, he gets scared and runs away and then later on in the movie you see him just go through like the snowman competition he's just like shooting and like hitting all the snowmen <laughs> to make sure they're all dead <laughs> it's, a, it's such a fun little idea but it, it was really funny uh yeah. so, so so i thought yeah so you got her whole family die Fun there. So those, those are all good ones. Of course, later on in the movie, Jack Frost actually turns into a giant snowball and rolls down the rolls down the street and like into the doors of the church. Where, where at this point in the movie, <laughs> the entire town are hiding because there's a curfew because there's a killer snowman on the list. Of course, the biggest thing they do with them though, they give them basically like T one thousand powers where he can like melt and then reform. Which, to be fair, is actually kind of a fun like bad guy power like because yeah. he, he, he'll like melt and you'll you, if you're looking for him you can see him coming because you can see the water coming in but he'll, he'll like reappear like behind people or like of course the famous one being Shannon elizabeth herself in the <laughs> bathtub because for some reason yeah. they decided to sneak into the the sheriff's house like for when they are deciding uh they're gonna have sex yeah like why, yeah. why it's not like they, they seem to know him that well i mean they know who he is like she says hi to him at the start of the movie but it's not like it's not like oh this is my uncle's place so i know i can get in yeah i mean maybe you know they, they're teenagers they're horny they really want to do it and uh, but they want to be safe and what what place would you think would be safer than the sheriff's house not until he comes home and finds you, you've broke in. <laughs> then it's not very safe. Uh, Besides, <laughs> safe sex is not telling the girl where you live. That's a... Wait, what? <laughs> that was just a joke, Tim. Safe sex is not telling her where you live. Uh, okay. <laughs> so she can't find you to tell you you're going to be a dad. Never mind, never mind this. It was a bad joke. <laughs> it was an old British TV joke. It just... <laughs> ignore me anyway um but no her death is kind of epic because our, our, our boyfriend gets killed downstairs he gets uh what happens to him again uh does he get the icicle through he his, does uh... yeah he gets the icicle yeah. Th- through the door yeah which he can just kind of form these icicles uh which i i guess is kind of snowman like well it makes sense if you can do the t1000 melt he can do the t1000 blades I, I don't know i just think of like I don't know, I, I think of snow and ice as two different things. But they're kind of like, I mean, <laughs> ice, snow is basically just flakes of ice. Okay. I, I, I'm not disputing it, I just, it, it just, it's it's a little odd, but I'll I'll, I'll give them that. For, for someone whose nickname is a professor, <laughs> you're doing a, a real good job of questioning chemistry here. <laughs> Basic chemistry at that. I, 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 I don't know. I just, I've never been able to turn snow into ice. So, I don't know how this well, you can. can. You, you absolutely can. If you Next time it snows, Tim, get some snow. Now, I realize right. you're in LA, so you've got more fire than you do snow. But, right, get, 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 some, get some snow, you put it in a, in a case, and put it in the okay. freezer, it'll be ice. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, if you put anything in the freezer, it's going to turn into ice. <laughs> well, but you're okay with the water turning back into snow without a freezer? What? What? What is your argument here, Tim? Of course you need a freezer. You have to make it cold for it to do it. I don't know. I'm just. Uh, I'm just saying. Good on uh, Mr. Frost for <laughs> like being able to t- do different stuff. T- turning the snow into water is easy. Turning the snow into ice is easy. The the hard thing is actually turning the stuff back into snow okay <laughs> right that, that's the real impressive part that he can turn himself back into actual snow because it's hard to create snow snow is a snow is very difficult to do it is a skill for sure <laughs> in fact there's a funny story about die hard 2 where they needed fake snow and they had actually had someone make like kind of essentially like flakes of ice 
and they had to like transport it in from across country in this big like uh uh, like fr- you know, truck that had a you know it was a freezer, big refrigerated truck. But when it arrived, it was just a giant block of ice. It it all kind of formed together, and they had no fake snow. Oh. <laughs> I thought okay. you liked that story, Tim. I'm sorry, I've let you down. I wonder if they chipped uh, some of the ice off and put it in their drinks. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure that was a silver lining. <laughs> well, at least we've got ice now for our drinks. <laughs> I'm sure that's what Rennie Harlan said to Bruce Willis in the set of Die Hard 2. Well, no fake snow, but he's got ice. <laughs> Silver linings. Playbook. Sometimes, Tim, I don't know about your main goes. Who does? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So... so- Boyfriend yeah. gets iced. Boyfriend gets iced. Yeah, it's the famous scene that I was getting to. God damn it. Yeah, Shia Elizabeth's death. So basically, the snowman apparently has run a bath, and she's like, oh, bath, oh, thanks, whatever boyfriend's name is. And she Because before they are about to have sex, she like had like a list of demands. Yeah, like... she, she wanted a roaring fireplace. She wanted mm-hmm. a bottle of wine. The bath wasn't one of them, but she, she thought that's why it was sweet. Yeah. Because he, he just did that. <laughs> But she gets in the bath, and at first I was thinking, wait, if this is actually the snowman, why is it warm? This is weird. But no, no, it's actually warm water, but you see the, 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 the you know, the Jack Frost water, like, coming into the bath. You see it sneaking up from the side. And then she, she's all just having a bath, she's having a time, and she's like, wait, hey, it's getting cold. Why is it getting cold? And then very quickly, it sort of, like, forms, and he actually forms around her, so she's sort of just snuck, stuck in snow and can't get out. It's, like, really weird. It's a really silly but weird and fun image. And then, like, he gets sort of up, and she, she's still sort of stuck inside him. And then he kind of... Now, we had a bit of a debate before we started this, because Tim said this was the, the snowman rape scene. I don't know if that's technically what's happening. I think he's, I, I think he's just buying her against the wall till she dies. Because when he throws her outside, she's just sort of dead, and she sort of starts bleeding, and that's yeah, it. I, I, I said I said it kind of questioningly. I was like, yeah. I guess rape scene? I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, because... Uh, I, I think just the fact that that it's like a naked woman stuck inside uh, this man. It and he's going back and kinda, forth. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like it, it seems sexual, but I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. And don't get me wrong, he does crack a joke about that because he says, "Oh, I guess Christmas came early this year." Like he cracks a joke yeah. afterwards. Which James Bond then stole. <laughs> Did he? Was that before that? After this movie? There was a. At the end of one of the movies, it ends with uh, Pierce Brosnan going, well, I thought Christmas only came once a year. Oh, like that, that must be the one with... Uh, Denise Richards. Yeah, because she She's was like, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that would have been after this. Yeah, you're right. James Bond stole that line. How dare they? <laughs> how, how dare James Bond steal that? Um, but it was a good line. Because I... I mean, maybe it was the intention. I don't know. It's just so silly. It's hard. It's, you don't want to bog the scene down by saying he's actually a sexually assaulting her in this scene as a snowman. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of hard to tell. Either I can kind of see the argument for and against it. Like, um, I, 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 at least I'm choosing to believe that he's just sort of bashing her against the wall to death, and then because he realized what it looked like, he cracked a sex joke afterwards. That's fair. Yeah. Rather than he's actually, I mean, does he even have a penis? Like. Uh. That's true, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, let's give Mr. Frost the benefit of a doubt here. But and see, he has a penis? <laughs> All I'm saying is that, you know, uh, this guy has not been put on trial yet. Um, hey, well, yes, I he mean, has. N- he's been convicted. He's, he's got a death sentence. He was, he was being executed <laughs> at midnight. What's a really weird time to do an execution, but whatever. Uh, but I, I consider the, the snowman kind of indifferent. Uh, person, I think his genetic makeup has been altered enough that we can say, all right, he hasn't been put on trial for these new murders. So, well, it's like, funny you say that because we have two of these characters who come to town: a scientist who is behind the project that he got infected with, <laughs> and like a enforcer FBI guy who comes with them. Uh, and there's a really like weird scene where um. I, I think the sheriff asked him, like, so what are you, uh, FBI? And he goes, sure. And it's like, uh, 
and but then he's just like he just assumes like all right yeah that means that must mean he's like fbi but it's like uh if you're a cop like don't you want to see like some like definitive proof of like uh well first of all i don't like the way you answer that second of mm-hmm. all uh you, you're gonna have to like show me something yeah sh- surely he's like at least some super top secret thing of some yeah. kind like some super top secret black ops like you, you know what uh i i loved uh quick tangent um but uh, I think it was in one of like the early episodes of uh, Mindhunter. Um, they're asking uh, like this sheriff something, and he calls up this other sheriff station, um, and like he asks him some questions and stuff. And then uh, he like gives him his information, and then he tells him like, "All right, yeah, like I sent my info to this guy, and he's just gonna like check out my credentials and then get back to me." And I just really like that small detail of it. Like, oh yeah, that that is something they have to do. Like. You know, they would have to check and make sure everything's on the up and up. Like, no one is just like, hey, I'm from the FBI. Cool, let's work together. <laughs> like... <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that was a weird tangent. Uh, <laughs> it just so happens that me and Connor reviewed every single episode of Mindhunter Season 1. Uh, oh. Just, just, you know, last month or so. No, yeah, more than a month now, because it was October, but... And uh, if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can listen to those interviews right now. <laughs> You can listen to or watch them. <laughs> if you're not a patron, you can you, you can just go to the YouTube channel and watch them. You can go to the Netflix uh, original audio review podcast feed and listen to them there. You can do either. Completely free of charge. But then go to Patreon and give us money because you like us, please. <laughs> uh, but no, this is a good show. I like that, I like that season. Um, yeah. What was I getting to? Okay, yeah, so we had these, these two characters <laughs> who are kind of... They keep saying, oh, it's a need-to-know basis, Sheriff, and you don't need to know. Like, they're saying that all movie long until eventually they kind of fess up and tell them. And, uh, but we've got them. Uh, but all the right, reason, it was these but, chemicals. <laughs> but the reason why I bring it up, though, is because you said it's technically not the same person. But no, because the scientist says, this is, <laughs> this is proof there's a soul because he's still <laughs> no, him. He's still got his personality. There's a soul. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's a good point. <laughs> So, you know, uh, but yeah, so we have like a series of attempted, like killing the, the, the snowman, to k- killing Jack Frost, right? The first one is that they try, but they realize that fire hurts them. So they, they blow up the police station while he's inside. <laughs> Maybe a bit dramatic, but. A bit dramatic. Uh, also a lot of really like silly, there's, there's a moment where they've, they've, they've shut the door. To, uh, to the, the cell block inside the police station but he has to go back for the key and it's like sitting in the door and for some reason like even though Jack Frost like could be like coming through from the you know in water form underneath the door for some reason the sheriff decides to go really slowly as if it's really suspenseful but I'm like <laughs> surely the best option would be to go as quickly as possible but it's just like overly dramatic like him going in really slowly like he's not going to grab you from the keys he'll grab you from the, the, the feet which is what he does after he grabs the keys so there's a whole thing mm. Jesus, P, it's called building suspense. <laughs> this was just stupid suspense, so there was no reason for it to be going this slow. It was weird. Um, so they have that. But during all this kerfuffle, he actually has his assistant who works at the police station, who we introduced earlier on in the movie for the sole purpose of introducing the, the, the idea, the concept of the hairdryer. Yes. <laughs> because he comes into the, in near the start of the movie just before he, he, he almost threw out his son's, like, you know... I don't even know what he made, what was, what was supposed to be. It was like a, a mixture of some kind. He almost throws mm-hmm. it out, but he takes it out of the garbage, puts it back in the car. He comes in at the start of the movie, and the receptionist or whoever at the police station, she's sitting, like, blow-drying her hair, even though her hair is completely dry. Whatever. But that's introducing the, the technology that you may not be familiar with, the <laughs> hair dryer. Because during this scene before the police station explosion, he actually starts using the hair dryer on Jack Frost like a gun, and it's working... <laughs> Until it unplugs, and oh no, uh-huh. that didn't work. Uh, I, sorry, I forget. Was this the scene where like the whole town? Oh no, 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 That's what it leads to. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Because okay. of this, the right. plan <laughs> when they all get together and the ch- the church, I think it is, or not even the church, just the, the town hall or whatever it is. <laughs> yes, they have this plan to lure him in uh, and get him down to the furnace. How are we going to get him to there? Well. Every single person in the town gets a hair dryer. And do you know what I love? So so Jack Frost comes into the building as the big snowball. And it works really well. Um, and then they all use their hair dryers and there's like a line of them. And it's like really goofy and silly because it's just like five people holding hair dryers up to someone. But it works. 
It's like modern day, like instead of pitchforks, the townspeople are carrying uh, hair dryers. But they're sort of backing them down into the, the into the furnace room because they want to put them in the furnace because they think the fire. You know that'll that'll do it, um, and it's it's going well. But I was really I was actually thinking in the middle, yeah. But what, what, how, how are they they keeping these hair dryers going the whole way there? This is silly. But I'm glad they actually cut to a shot of their feet, and you could see like the, all the cables going to an extension, yeah. going to another <laughs> extension. They'd actually daisy chained all these cables so that they could they could actually go the whole way. So you know what? I'll give it to them. They actually thought that through <laughs> at least a little bit. Uh, again, still a stupid visual. It was a really silly moment, but it was, you know, they, they thought of the cables. And it was nice to finally see this, this jerk snowman get his comeuppance. Yeah, he's, he's just been enjoying killing people all <laughs> movie. He, 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 has, he doesn't have a bone of, uh, like... Regret? Regret, yeah, he, or... Yeah. He, he's one... I mean, yeah, like you said, he's kind of Chucky-like in that he... He, uh... You know, he doesn't really have... Uh, a specific goal like i guess yes he does want to get back at the sheriff which oh my god we didn't even talk about the flashback scene where he catches him uh but like uh yeah he kind of just delights in killing yeah even uh essentially what i talk about the uh the the sheriff flashback go on <laughs> talk about the sheriff flashback that's what you want to talk about uh, it's just hilarious. Uh, they show, uh, you know, the sheriff pulling over. Uh, actually, no, not even pulling over. Uh, Jack Frost is already pulled over. He's taking a whiz in the woods. Uh, you know, the sheriff comes by, you know, gives him a little small talk. And uh, he does this thing that I think is hilarious when he just, ha- like, instantly goes from zero to super angry for, like, no reason. Like, the sheriff is like, oh, can I see your license? And he's just like... <laughs> Uh, and then he starts walking towards the car and he's like well don't move and then he like just starts yelling at him like what do you want me to do not move get my license and it's like you you do realize if he just would have been like nice and a normal person he would not have arrested you yeah because he's not even yeah he's, he's not even there to, like because he's got a call jack frost the serial killer is like yeah you know which actually conflicts with the story from the start about how they caught him they, they, they just kind of catch him by accident, seemingly. Yeah, it's completely like there's no like police work involved. I actually think the sheriff's kind of an idiot. He, yeah. Oh yeah. He just stumbles along and finds uh, him while he was pissing in the woods. In fact, the sheriff is a, a kind of a, a weirdly weak character because when they're because re- at the start of the movie they're returning home uh, and they actually come by the car crash where the the prisoner transport was. And they're driving home from a ski trip. They're away for the weekend. And he stops and he sticks his head out the window and talks to, like, like you know, the FBI dude or whatever. And he's like, hey, I'm uh, the lo- local sheriff just from the town up ahead. Uh, can you tell me about what's what's going on? And the guy just was, sorry, that's classified. Just keep moving. And he immediately just goes, <laughs> okay, then. And he just puts his head back in. And I'm like, he doesn't even try. I'm like, whoa, okay, you're easy going. Uh, so that's the whole thing. Uh, just out of curiosity, I clicked on the second one. Which you know maybe, oh which isn't we're not doing this year, but uh, I'd expect maybe next year to have Jack Frost to Revenge of the Killer Snowman <laughs> uh, on the on the docket. But I was just curious if the cast came back and the sheriff's back. The voice of Jack Frost Ooh. is the same guy. Uh, the sheriff's wife's the same person. So we have continuity in the second one. That's that's exciting. I'm excited. I've really grown to love these characters. <laughs> You have, and you know it. <laughs> so they get they get Jack Frost in the furnace. Which, oh, by the way, Jack Frost sends letters to the sheriff, like saying, "Oh, I'm going to get you. I'm you're, you're never going away with this." But yeah. he, he sends them in those ransom style, where it's like they cut out letters from magazines. And I'm like, "But why? He knows it's you. You're sending them from prison. You can't disguise who it is. He knows it's, yeah. He knows exactly. Who, like you might as well have just wrote, written it and signed your name. It's weird." <laughs> Because uh, that's the thing, he still signs it, because he still put, in, in the cut out letters, he puts dash Jack Frost at the end of the letter. <laughs> he actually puts his yeah. name in cut out letters, that is so weird. Um, maybe he doesn't know how to write. Maybe? I, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. He's a very confident fellow. Mm-hmm. Of course, he, he had to have at least one don't eat yellow snow line, didn't he? They said that at one oh, point. Oh, yeah. And at a point that did not make any sense at no. all. Uh, they were just going through the checklist of snow puns. Honestly, there's not enough snow puns. That, that, that's my one complaint, yeah. if I'm honest. I, w- I want more snow puns. But, you know, hey, you know, <laughs> take, take, your, take your thing. Uh, it's worth it's mentioning. It's weird when, like, uh, yeah, did the, um, 
Was this before um, Batman and Robin? This was the same year. Oh, okay. I wonder if maybe they had more snow puns and then they're like, ah, oh, they beat us to it. We can't, we can't use the same ones that uh, Arnold's using. Uh, it was later that year. Yeah. It was, it, this, this came out in November 1997. Okay. Um, the second movie, however, was direct to video. Ooh. Shocking. I know, shocking. <laughs> but uh, no, so that that's the... Uh, that's, that's, so yeah, look forward to that next year. We'll do, do the sequel next year. But uh, mm-hmm. So Jack Frost gets out of the furnace. It's not killed him. Because of course it's not. In fact, he actually possesses the scientist dude who was upset that he had to kill the snowman. He wanted to keep him oh, around yeah. uh, for study. For like, oh, he's proof that this works and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Um, he actually kind of like goes inside him in water form. And the guy kind of like half explodes like with water. It's a weirdly ambitious kill for a pretty like low, you know, uh, like effect heavy movie yeah. up until this point. Because he's, like, his neck's purely like, bloated out with water. Yeah. as if he's like a frog almost. And then he, then he kind of like yeah, he, he dies. But uh, so th- so then the sheriff's like, okay, I've got. They actually accidentally discover because the sheriff's like hiding in his car, and the the Jack Frost is getting inside with the water. And they actually discover that he does have a weakness. And they find this weakness because Jack Frost happens to consume the food that the sheriff's son made for him. And he turns <laughs> to his son and says, what did you put in that food? And he's like, <laughs> antifreeze. <laughs> so, w- was he trying to, like, kill his <laughs> dad? dad? <laughs> oh, man. And obviously, he can't be mad at him because I've just discovered how to beat him. So he goes with yeah. the store owner. Or he gets the store owner to go with, with with his son to get antifreeze from his store. Which, two things stuck out to me about this. One, it's still 20% off, although he doesn't make him pay for it, admittedly. Uh, two, when he goes to get the antifreeze, it's all in the shop window display. And he has oh, yeah. to he has to like cut through the the, the sort of the, the Christmas like sort of background that he's got up. He has to like sort of burst through this big bit of wrapping paper. And I'm like, did you not have a way to get to it if someone wanted to buy it? Like... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so they make the back of this pickup truck like into like a pool of antifreeze. That's that's what we do. And meanwhile, the sheriff's like basically just making Jack Frost chase him around and like into into this uh, hotel where there's like a couple having sex and there's other people doing things. It, I assume it was like a um, like a one of those hotel like a, a love hotel or a motel or something where basically people only go there to like have affairs. Really? I just assumed it was because it was a small town, it was the one hotel, and there just happened to be one couple having sex. Well, it seemed like he knocked on a couple of doors that all seemed to be occupied by people. Maybe they weren't all, like, having sex, but that's what I kind of assumed. Uh, yeah, there was the one who was like, oh, maybe it's my husband, you know, was, like, there was that yeah. one. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much. But, uh, so, basically, he's, he's getting stabbed. Uh, he's actually about to die the sheriff by Jack Frost and then he like tackles Jack Frost out of the window into the back of the pickup truck because he knew that they'd be parking there uh, you know a <laughs> l- l- little bit far-fetched and we end up having him wrestle Jack Frost in the antifreeze as he disintegrates slowly uh, yeah and I can't I can help but feel this is one of those scenes that would probably be really silly to shoot I can just see the actor like pretending to fight with this fake like you know part of a snowman in this pool of oh, antifreeze uh, yeah also I have to wonder like I can't imagine it's healthy for us to like swim about in antifreeze. I, I mean, I actually looked this up to. Oh, like, okay. At, well, I well I know like you know it's not good to um, drink antifreeze, obviously, but mm-hmm. uh, I I was like curious, like oh, like is it like you know toxic? Is it deadly? And, it, yeah, it, has, it, is, it has a really strong smell. Like we see when you're using it, yeah. you can smell it really. Like as if it is like a cleaning solution or something like that. It has a really strong chemical yeah. smell to it. And and to be fair, it's not like he's like purposely drinking it, but he is so entrenched in there that you gotta imagine at bare minimum that you know some of it is getting you know well, his, in eyes. his mouth and yeah. yeah his eyes his nose like it, it's gonna cause a pretty severe damage, uh, which makes it even crazier when they <laughs> throw their child. <laughs> into it well yeah because the snow jack frost's arm is like on its own and it starts to grab the sun it wraps himself yeah. it wraps his arm around the sun's head and neck as if it's going to suffocate him so they throw their kid into the <laughs> freeze pool 
and then the arm disintegrates and they bring the kid out. And then they're all joking, they're happy that oh everyone's <laughs> fine for Christmas again. Uh, I really feel bad for Shannon Elizabeth's family though, because there's almost no other casualties on her family and her boyfriend. It's almost like her family got all like it's true. Jack Frost was coming for the sheriff and wanted to kill the sheriff's family. Instead, this poor girl's family were completely murdered. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Yeah. Think of that maybe. what you will. Uh, I'm sure they were all shitty people. I mean, the son was a bully, so mm-hmm. the whole family probably sucked. The dad was an asshole, but the, the, the moment though, and Sharon Elizabeth seemed okay. Oh well, all on our, our our demands, our list of demands, right? If you, it's basically like an RPG. She's like, right, if you get the the roaring fireplace, <laughs> you get the wine that's nice and cold. You get me these chocolates. You get me this. If you fulfill all these quest lines, if you tick all these boxes, you'll unlock the reward, which is sex. Right, go yeah. go, go Heather. That's ah, way too much work. <laughs> <laughs> all right t- t- Tim things it should be easy right Tim's on the record what do, what I mean, do you what do you it... think the, the appropriate amount of questing is for the, for the sex I mean, well I mean it, you know it depends a lot on the relationship and you know what you know, is she a person... prostitute yes yeah uh, but I don't know I would uh yeah, I'm not saying that it's not uh, appropriate if you have that type of relationship. Me personally, uh, I would <laughs> probably just go do something else. What, just sort of nudge and say, hey, why have sex? Is that, is that, is that a criteria? No, no, I just mean like once, fact, I, once I got the demands, I would just be like, yeah. I don't know, I oh, yeah, you, you would not. Or something. Yeah, you'd be like, no, okay, like, you're too much work. Right, I'm, I'm going elsewhere. Tim, I'm curious. What's your list of demands when someone wants to have sex? So, what, what, what's what's your like? Is it just simply, um, are you a living, breathing person? <laughs> and even <laughs> no, then, Tim, I don't I don't know if you need that, but yeah. You know. Only for me, it's basically just one simple demand. Uh, here is a Blu-ray copy of The Boy. Uh, put it on. Let's watch all. 90-ish odd minutes of it. And... Tim, do you know how bad it sounds that your your aphrodisiac is a movie called The Boy? Do, 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 does it straight you how wrong that sounds? I mean, connoisseurs of the movie understand that it, it, it's there's much more to it than The Boy. I mean, you brought... Boy. I mean, you're actually breaking up a little bit, but I think through that distortion, I heard you say that people are connoisseurs of the boy. Oh, yeah, of course. I like how the yeah. internet is like, mad at Tim right now for his shitty opinion, so it's, it's breaking up and I can't hear half the things he's saying. It's great. He's all freezing. Uh, perfect. <laughs> the internet stepped in. See, now it's back to normal because you stopped talking bollocks. Mm. Meh. Okay. Um, any more thoughts on Jack Frost? <laughs> any scenes um, that we've skipped that you thought, oh, why didn't we talk about that? That was a great scene. Uh, I, I did think it was kind of cool when he first gets that little bit of antifreeze on him that he kind of turns into like a snowman two face where he just has like this messed up uh, side of his face. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I don't know if I'd go as far as say two face because it actually takes like, there's a big chunk missing. It's more like. It's more like someone's had their, like, their head sliced stuff. Yeah. Uh, what I do like about yeah. it, though, is that part of it's bubbling for the rest of the movie. Like, while he's chasing yeah. uh, the sheriff, like, there's, like, little bubbles happening in it, so it's still reacting. Yeah, I thought it was, like, a nice little touch. Like, uh, oh, hey, cool. And, and it's not something that they, they dropped in two seconds. Like, he just reforms. It's like, oh, no, he's like that for the rest of the movie. Yeah, it was permanent when that happened. Uh, which, by the way, we should mention that after they've done all this, they dispose of him by like putting all the antifreeze back in the bottles and then burying all the antifreeze. So he's still in the antifreeze and then he's buried. <laughs> so I can't wait to find out how he comes back in Jack Frost 2. I can't wait. Oh, oh brother. That's going to be interesting. Um, we didn't mention the glorious uh, computer animated scene that shows his cells reacting with the uh, chemicals. Oh, that's right, yeah. It does that thing where <laughs> once all the chemicals go on him, he falls into the snow, and then the camera, like, zooms in, and then it goes right into, like, a molecular level, and then it's just a cartoon <laughs> of, like, like these cells are getting frosty, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I mean, other than that, though, I think we covered it pretty much. It's, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, obviously, not a good movie. You know, it's super cheap, super cheesy. Um, but, uh, again, kind of similar to, you know, the movie we just did, uh, you know, thing from another uh, world, planet, forget. Uh, but, like, with that movie, you kind of know what you're getting into when you're watching it. And I think same thing for this. Like, if, if you're expecting a deep, you know, genre-defying masterpiece that you're not going to get it obviously here uh if you want you know super cheap 90s jokey cheesy mess of a movie and especially when you want to make fun of with your friends and, and that kind of stuff it's good for that i will say i'm disappointed he never looks as cool as he does in the front cover on the post oh sure yeah yeah like he looks yeah. really cool it's almost like a, snow, like a snow skull he has in the poster and yeah. that was really cool but that's Even it at, at, he does get the uh, the ice teeth at one point though, which right. is pretty cool. I like that moment. Yeah, uh, even that like uh, it lo- it looks like that, or it seems like that should have been cooler. Um, but yeah, it, it, I guess at least they did go for it. Well, I mean, who who the thought we'd be reviewing Jack Frost twenty years later? Oh God, that's right. Twenty years <laughs> after anniversary. The fact. Yeah, yeah. So here's um, to Jack Frost on its twentieth anniversary. And congrats to us for going the whole review without making a uh, any type of jokes about mixing this up with a Michael Keaton movie. Yeah. Do you know what the funny thing is though is that mm-hmm. whenever you're looking to watch this, you typically have to go through that first to get to it because mm-hmm. they always think the search engine, Netflix, whatever it is, they think you do what you want in the Michael Keaton movie. And you know what? Mm-hmm. No, I don't. I don't want the stupid Michael <laughs> Keaton family movie. I don't want that. <laughs> I want the Killer Snowman movie. Yeah. Although I heard uh, that Michael Keaton one is pretty bad as well. I seen it when that came out when I was a kid, but I, I mean, I don't really remember it much. Mm-hmm. You know, so you loved it. <laughs> dad, dad becomes a snowman. And mm. he's nice to his kid, but then he has to go away and die at the end because he has to melt. Yeah, that's a I I haven't seen it, but like I've heard like some like bad movie podcasts and stuff talk about it, and uh, it does seem super sad at the end. Mm. But, so no, I, I guess that's Jack Frost. It is honestly, it's a it's a bad movie. It really is. There's goofy acting. There's goofy. Uh, goofy moments like the sheriff being such a sort of pushover. Uh, the, the the FBI guy is over the top. Uh, the kills are kind of fun though, even if they do look bad. But they're they're, they're good, mm-hmm. fun, silly, bad. Uh, characters are fun, silly, bad. Uh, honestly, I think it's if you like this type of like bad horror movie, I think it's like kind of a blast. So as we get to ratings, mm-hmm. uh, what is the fist of Tim feeling like giving Jack Frost? <laughs> um. Uh, this one's actually pretty hard because <laughs> uh yeah like on a technical level you know it's it's like nothing like you don't want to give it that high of a score but again i did have fun with it yeah yeah um uh, uh, I, I don't know this, this might be like too generous but maybe you know i'm in the christmas mood we got you know this nice little snowy background and everything so mm. uh I think I'm going to give it a four, as maybe crazy as that sounds. I'm going to lie to him. I think that's too low. Really? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I have a blast with this movie. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying I have a lot of fun. So I'm going to be nuts here. Okay. Are you ready to get nuts? Let's get nuts. nuts. <laughs> that is so weird how we kind of set that up with the Michael Keaton talk before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but here you go. Sometimes you just naturally get those those zingers coming out. Um, I'm giving this... I mean, I'm being generous. I'm being festive. Right, yeah. And I, like I can say, it's a bad movie, but I'm giving it a score akin to my enjoyment of said bad movie, of bad slasher okay. killer snowman movie. I'm giving it a six. Wow. That's right. That's pretty surprising. <laughs> I'm giving it a six. I cannot, in good mind, go any higher than that. Even that seems a bit too high. But yeah. I'm, I'm giving it a six. 
like for me i kind of think sometimes I, like i think of like of two halves like my enjoyment of the movie and mm. like the technical side of the movie which i feel like if this had like decent stuff on the technical side like oh uh you know oh maybe it had some good gore effects or this you know one character was really good that i feel like those are the case i can bump it up but um when it's like none of that's good but i'm just going on my enjoyment i feel like i can't go that high so sometimes i like to compare it to a letter grading and sort of see where it comes out because this is like a six to me is like a c plus okay all right and i feel like in those terms it sounds a bit more reasonable yeah i can see that you know but yeah. uh, but I, I th- and going just going back to it it's like obviously you, you know what kind of movie this is and if that's the thing you like then yeah. i think it, it is a blast you know yeah of, of course people are going to watch this and tell me i'm crazy for that score but hey <laughs> you know what you know what i had fun i, I had fun with the stupidness i really did um let them dogpile on you for a change <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you've been getting some shit in the comments recently for some uh dodgy picks well i mean you did we did do a, a crypt movie last week <laughs> called my little eye and you tore it to shreds and then the, the picker of that that movie was like it was very nice about it in the comments but he did end his comment with oh yeah but by the way you like the boys so <laughs> you know hey i would stack that movie against the boy any day of the week. In fact, I'd stack most movies against the boy. <laughs> Jack Frost is better than the boy. I can say that with confidence. Well, I mean, you know, yeah, if you're in crazy town, I guess. Jack Frost has charm. Yeah, so does the boy. No, it doesn't. Brahms. It's charmless. <laughs> I disagree with that. You got to follow the rules. That's your problem, Pete. You don't follow the rules. Ah, <laughs> uh, Timmy, 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 Timmy. <laughs> well, I guess that wraps up jack frost uh here on streams after midnight of course we'll be back next week with more horror movies christmas horror movies in this case um do 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 do, do get us on the twitters at mail us uh get us on patreon.com slash mail um yeah like subscribe all that stuff let us know what you thought of the movie in the comments did i say those before i think i did I, I sure. I'm, I'm tired okay i'm hungry i'm tired i'm overworked i'm all these things a snowman. <laughs> a snowman, yeah. Snowballs. Yeah, what's the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? Snowballs, ah. Uh-huh. Hilarious, yeah. They use that joke. <laughs> how many I, times? I love how they set that joke up at the start, right? And then the sheriff like says it to Jack Frost at the end, like, like, like it means something in context, and it doesn't. I, I, I think it would have been better if like. It was something that infuriated Jack Frost. Like, if he's, like, so manly that questioning his manhood drove him, like, crazy. Like, oh, but yeah, he was just like, up, oh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, it never came up. Yeah, if, if he was the sort of guy, if he said, oh, you're a girl, like, where yeah. he, like, got angry about that, maybe it'd work. But he, he never does, so. It also does, did not sound like he said it right, because uh, I, maybe I misheard it, or maybe the recording wasn't great but it sounds like he says no balls instead of snowballs he gets the joke wrong yeah, uh, yeah. that's just quite funny uh <sighs> but yeah so that that's that jack frost so thank you once again for watching or listening and we always appreciate it get useful links welcome. in the, des- the description not you tim i'm not thanking you <laughs> thanking the wonderful audience who put up with you hey <laughs> they put up with you in order to experience me and for that, I thank I thank them for their for their perseverance. Oh. God no, no. <laughs> I, I think it's clear that I'm kidding. By the way, before anyone thinks I've got an ego and starts, <laughs> I'll, I sometimes sometimes I'll crack a joke at that. I'm worried people actually take it seriously. So I just, but yeah. Someone taking a joke seriously on the internet? Oh God, I know. <laughs> Crazy. That's us, guys. Thank you very much once again for watching our listening. We always appreciate it. Keep watching scary movies. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time.